This video is to show you how to convert your full eyeglass prescription from its full prescription reading to the number you need for your for reading glasses. I had a uh, cataract surgery on my right eye today and I have a temporary need for reading glasses and it just seemed to me that uh, my full prescription should contain the information that I need uh, in order to know exactly uh, what strength reading glasses I should get. Now if you go to the store they have charts to help you pick the right one. You could just try on a bunch of them uh, in the store and see which one seems to work best. Uh, but if your optometrist or ophthalmologist has already done a painstakingly detailed exam and has all the information recorded on your prescription, uh, it would be good to be able to just take it right off that prescription and use it. So I tried to find this on a Google search. I tried to find it on a YouTube search. No, look, no luck with either. If I had remembered, I would have asked my ophthalmologist uh, what number to use but I didn't think of it at the time so I looked over my prescription and figured it out and I'll show you now how to do that so this is a sample full prescription uh, my normal glasses are um, progressive lenses and contain the information needed uh, for also for reading glasses. Uh, so what you want to focus in is this uh, number that I've outlined in red. It says NV-ADD. So that's an abbreviation for near vision and add. So essentially for near vision they add 2.5 diopters uh, of lens curvature uh, to allow, in this case me, to be able to focus clearly at a 14 inch reading distance. If you're getting your glasses from a pharmacy, uh, that is non-prescription reading glasses, then your calculations are done. You simply added your near vision add measurement to each sphere and that gives you your reading glass uh, measurement for a drug glass uh, drugstore prescription. On the other hand, if you're planning to order prescription reading glasses, you need to do a little bit more. You need to supply uh, your pupillary distance measurement. And the pupillary distance measurement on your regular glasses needs to be adjusted for near vision because your eyes converge or move together or towards one another and have a smaller pupillary distance at near vision. Your pupillary distance may be measured in two different formats, one of two different formats. If each eye is being given separately, then you're going to subtract 1.5 millimeters from each of those measurements. If there's a single or dual uh, pupillary uh, distance measurement, then you subtract 3 millimeters from that. And that gives you your near vision pupillary distance. The cylinder and the axis measure astigmatism. And these measurements do not change when calculating your prescription for reading glasses. So, should you go with over-the-counter drugstore glasses or should you get prescription reading glasses? The over-the-counter reading glasses will not correct astigmatism. If you have a lot of astigmatism, the correcting the sphere alone may not give you clear vision. The greater the difference in sphere of the two eyes, the greater the difference in focal distance of the two eyes. That's the distance 
at which the words will be in focus because in over-the-counter lenses both lenses are the same so if your eyes are different they're going to focus at different distances that means that one eye will be clear and the other will be blurry if the difference isn't too great let's say 0.5 diopters then you could go between them say one eye is 2.0 and the other is 2.5 you could go 2.25 but then at that mid-range distance each eye will be slightly blurry with prescription reading glasses both eyes would be in focus at exactly the same distance prescription reading glasses that is single vision prescription reading glasses can be ridiculously inexpensive if you get cheap frames and plain lenses Zenny Optical that's at www.zennyoptical.com sells them for only six dollars and ninety five cents which includes the frames the lenses the case the cleaning cloth uh, plus something like uh, roughly four or possibly five dollars in shipping and that translates to a price which is cheaper than many if not most over-the-counter drugstore reading glasses so if you're not in a hurry uh, it's probably better to get prescription reading glasses if you've had um, you know some surgery and it's going to take 10 days to get the new glasses and you need something right away then use the calculations I showed you previously to calculate um, uh, the appropriate reading glasses to get from the drugstore I hope uh, you found this uh, video informative thank you